In the last episode, we spawned in, found a place to make our base, looted a scary zombie infested firepost base, completed a couple Trader Joel missions, decided that the first base wasn't good, so we moved, and barely survived our very first horde night. Can we survive the next 10 days? Oh, no, I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. I'm not gonna survive. Well, let's find out. It's now day 11, and we somehow survived the horde night. Except I'm heavily diseased, so there's only one way to get rid of that. Properly respawned, we went around to see what damage was caused by the zombies. Wow, they, these, wow, okay. They didn't even touch the concrete. They just went straight through the freaking wood. The zombies destroying our base isn't always a bad thing. These are the cases that we can kind of learn from and try and fix stuff so it doesn't happen again. Anyways, on to bigger and better things, like finally handing in one of our missions to Joel. Then of course, going ahead and selecting another mission. I then went back to base and sealed up some of the holes in the base. Well, just the downstairs ones for now, at least. I was running things solo for now because Fang had to leave and go and do some other stuff. But this was a good time for me to go and test out my own skills and see if I could survive losing looting a location all by myself. I figured I'd try this little shop area place. We just have to try and figure out a way into this place first. I managed to break down this fence, but then I heard a noise that I do not like hearing. Oh, you stupid dog. Please die, please die, please die. Oh, you know, now I'm bleeding and Bud's oh, dead. Well, this is the beginning of our own little adventure by ourselves. Time to head into this joint. I just started looting what I could. This door was locked, so he couldn't get in that way. So I guess it's up this ladder we go. I do rather enjoy the fact that everything in this game is pretty much destroyable. So if you can't see a clear path in, just break one. Made it inside only to hear another freaky noise. What the, there's a snake here? Whoa, that snake just jump up on the bench. For the most part, searching through this place was rather dull. Well, that was until we got to the bottom of this fire escape and uh, stuff really started to happen. Holy crap. Yes, things are starting to get really real. Could I escape through that gate? No, there's a hole in that wall. Should we go through there? I don't know. I'm out of stamina. This might not go well for me right now, dude. Oh, uh, that's locked. Can I escape this way? I'm infected, sprained. This isn't looking good. Can this help me in some way? I knew that the zombies could get up here, but maybe with this little one by one doorway thing, it could be a way to kind of funnel them in and make it easier to kill. Ooh, wow, there goes your head. Oh, go away spider monkey, dude. Oh, did we, did we win? Oh my gosh, we got through it. And we are running out of time. And yes, we are indeed running out of time. It is getting rather late, and I'm not sure if I'll make it back to base before the zombies become really fast. We made it back to base just in time. And I think I've proven to myself that I really do need help in this game. The following day, Fang had returned. And the first thing we did was head on over to go and complete a mission. This mission here isn't a difficult one to complete, since it is just a little cabin that we have to clear out. But although this might be common knowledge to most players, we realized if we clear the place out before we actually start the mission, we can get double the loot. Eh, that loot's okay. Ready for round two? What have we got here? Okay, yeah, that's right. Pretty successful double loot adventure, if I don't say so myself. When we were running back to Trader Joel's, I was so banged up, I kept running out of stamina. Fang had already made it back and was already talking to Trader Joel by this point. Oh, and after all of that time, uh, Fang decided to give me a med kit. On his oh, med kit. Damn boy, I could have used them ages ago. As we arrived back to base, Fang made a rather obvious discovery. <laughs> I don't know what the f but I'm keeping this painting above my storage boxes, bro. That's so cracker. I don't even know who that dude is. Since we were pretty much just held up at base while it was nighttime, I figured we'll do a little bit of renovations around here. At this point, though, I really wish we did have better tools so we could do this a lot easier and way more efficiently. But as soon as we heard that noise for the morning to start, we started to head on out to go and try and do some things. There's a little suburban town just to the north of us, so we figured we'll go and try and loot a bunch of these houses. Myself and Fang split up for this because I think most of these houses are pretty simple. All right. We've got a locked door here. Just break this bad boy down and we are in. Oh, sleeping guy. Sneaky, sneaky. Dead. Ah, oh, he spotted me first. How the frick? You're asleep, dude. How good is this shared player experience, bro? Searching, searching. Oh, oh crap. There's heaps in here. And by heaps, I mean two. Uh, this is gonna be dumb. Oh, yep, that was dumb. Oh my god, oh my god, there's heaps in here, there's heaps in here. Oh, it's locked. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Die, please die, please die, please die. I'm gonna clutch this. I'm just gonna clutch it. Oh, can I hide up here? Come on, baby. Oh, I'm so dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, one down. Oh, 
<laughs> Who are dying? I'm dead. Oh, he's dead. She's down. She's dead. One death. One left. One left. I think I just clutched it. No, I didn't. He's still alive. He's still alive. I clutched it. I clutched it. I finished looting that house and then went over to go meet up with Fang at another house. Except he didn't know that I was coming. Oh my god. <laughs> we cleared this place out, then looted up all the juicy, juicy loot. We then broke our way out of this place and then left it and then went back to base. It's the 14th day of this 100 days. And we're just chilling inside while it's still nighttime and the zombies are dangerous. And I had a few skill points that I needed to put into my character so that I could eventually get some more hit points, you know so I don't die. We also seem to be at a state of the game where we can start making food quite easily. It's not the best food, but it'll do for now. We then went out to go and complete another one of these clear zombie missions. This one's a rather quick one. It's only got this little tent area to do. Obviously, I skipped starting this mission so we could get double of the loot. Obviously, having Fang here made clearing this a lot quicker. As luck would have it, Fang had a mission that we could go and clear that wasn't too far away, and it was a rather small one. Except this one did get a little bit interesting. You might be wondering, what could possibly be interesting, Aaron? What could it possibly be? Well, I'll show you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Where did that come from? Oh, bro, it's getting in, son. Just break this down and I'm out. GG's bang. Oh, no, I'm out of here. Really? There's a dog and a bear. Oh, I'm stuck in here with them. Bears are impossible, bro. They're so hard to fight. Oh, the bear's coming up there. But lower it back in here, bro, and I'll, I'll shoot it. How'd you get up there? I just jumped on the cash machine. Oh. Thank you. Oh, yo! We got him! Did we? Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Dead, dead. There's another ah, dog. There's another dog. Can we? I started my mission. Oh, you started already? Yeah. Oh, now, we went into that expecting that that little clear was going to be a pretty straightforward one. But having that bear come through really changed things up. But that is also why I do love this game. 500 meters away from base and we're not home yet. But of course, I was quite scared and pretty jumpy at this time. Oh, the fucking deer. Ooh, that could have been dumb. It was dumb. It was dumb. All right, I'm about to have to fight. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Huh. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Might as well get this meat while we're here too. I had to deal with a couple other zombies on the way home, but eventually we made it back home nice and safe and sound. As the sun arose, I upgraded some of these building blocks, then placed down this dew collector so we could get some passive water. Because of that big day yesterday, we still had a few missions that we had to go and hand in to the good old trader. We handed both of these missions in, but at the time, we didn't know that that was possible. Oh yes, we get both. Oh, how good's that, bro? Now mechanical parts are easy to get. I didn't get anything really decent from the trader at this point, but we did also upgrade to tier two missions. Joel then gave us a choice of a bunch of other items that we could take. Honestly, though, it was a pretty simple choice. Taking the bicycle would just made complete sense compared to the rest of them. And just like that, we have our very own bicycle. Oh, dude, I can already tell how much better riding this bicycle is. Meow. Oh, my God. <laughs> scared the shit out of me, bro. I heard it and then I saw it. Bro, you're going so quick. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, you can get all the drops then. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I made it to the mission house quite easily and quite fast, but admittedly, Fang wasn't really that far behind. Anyways, we went through here and started looting and shooting and killing and you know, all the stuff that you do. But sometimes we got a little bit overconfident. Ouch. Ah, oh, dude, I'm concussed. Oh well. Then we made it to the juice room. Of course, we didn't start this mission, so we just did this all over again. I always find doing this the second time around so much quicker. Obviously, because we kind of know where the zombies are and the layout of the place, I guess. I don't know. With Fang's missions complete, I then started my mission. 16 meters away. 19 meters away. Which way? Wait, is it this same place? Mine is this one. This same house. Oh my god, you did say that. That would do it twice. Not available until 1936. It's only like in-game one hour away. So we just waited until we could start it all over again and did this for a third time. This time was good, but we were really, really full on loot. And to make things worse, the scary noise happened. We weren't really that close to base, but we only had one bicycle to make it back safely. But we did try a few things. Yeah, what if we can double? Huh? <laughs> I just leaves me behind. There's a, there's a seat on the back though. Can't interact with it. Nah, all? it won't even let me interact. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, give me whatever you think is important, just in case. Yeah. Uh, 
forge, molotovs, midkit. So yeah, I took all the important things and just started riding off solo. Just hoped and prayed for Fang to make it here safely. After riding basically the Tour de France, I finally made it back to base safe and sound. Fang eventually made it back as well. I then started heading back over to the trader to go hand in these missions. But Fang kind of ran into a whole pack of wolves. Oh, they got red eyes. Lucky you were there. Made it back to Trader Joel's, handed in these missions, and I got a crafting skill magazine bundle. This is actually pretty valuable at this stage of the game. The second reward was, eh, so-so. I took the glue, because glue's pretty valuable too, I guess. I then chose the next mission, which was a special mission that I have to go and meet another trader. Oh, and a good thing about handing those missions in as well, Fang got his bike. So now we can both travel around the map significantly easier than we could before. Except freaking these birds remind me of the magpies here in Australia. They're just such pests. It was also safe to say that Fang really liked this bike. This is sick, bro. This is way better. Oh my god. We eventually made it to the new traders. And this is the cutest trader in the entire wastelands, Trader Jen. Anyways, talking to Trader Jen means that we have successfully completed the special mission from Trader Joel. We didn't stay at Trader Jen's very long. Instead, we just rode around her little base here and kind of just scoped out the area. I noticed that the desert biome wasn't that far away from here. So we went down to go check it out. And I found a rather interesting place we could go and loot. Oh, actually, yeah, come to me, bro. I found a farm. I waited for Fane to arrive, but uh, he was getting chased by something. Oh, no, I'm infected and all. Oh, and another f bird. <laughs> oh, I missed. Another one, another one. Don't worry, I got it. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Diddy, diddy, diddy. If we gotta find heels, this is the place to find it, man. Here they come. Fuck you, Kenny. Who's he going? That dog noise scares me, bro. Found some of the juice, though. We indeed did find some of the juice. It wasn't great loot, considering this place was supposed to be pretty difficult. Oh, it's downstairs. We gotta try and clear it before that time runs out, too. Everything's just gonna get fast and way harder. Time's a ticking. We can actually bunk it down downstairs. But we did find another area that was kind of interesting and encountered a feral zombie. Oh, he's running already. Ah, he's a feral. Ferals can run. The loot here wasn't that great at all, but we're actually quite far away from base and it's starting to get a little late, so it's time to probably head on home. On the ride home though, we noticed that there was a drop nearby, and of course I had to take this opportunity to go and get it. We tend to always get really good crafting books, so it's always worth it. The following day we rode ourselves back over to Trader Joel's. We just got there a little early, so we kind of had to wait for it to open. Now we've unlocked tier 2 missions, we went ahead and chose some and then went out to go do them. This mission from Trader Joel led us to the Burning Forest, and in this biome typically has harder and tougher zombies in it. I mean, we didn't even make it to the front door and we were getting pumped by ferals and zombies and everything. That's crazy starting to see like running ones in the, in the day, eh? Bro, and it's half. Of course we went into this place planning on double looting it. Ooh, Shamway, this is a good sign. Ooh. Oh shit, I was looting already. Oh my god. Ferals. Two ferals. That's bullshit. Why are they running around? Oh, there's a downstairs. Oh no, that's way out. <laughs> oh, there's upstairs. Oh, see? What the fuck? Ferals everywhere. And first time around looting this place went all pretty well. But as soon as we started the mission, everything kind of changed. I mean, we still got to loot a few things and got some pretty decent books. Oh, tools. Yeah. We got level three iron tools. We just need to get a forge. But as soon as the zombies started coming, they really started coming. Oh, oh my God. Oh shit, there's heaps of the... Oh no, I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. I'm not gonna survive. Oh, oh no, I'm gonna die too. I'm dead. I died. Oh, I died. So did I. So yes, unfortunately, we both died. And to make things worse, our bags were left behind as well as our bicycles. But there was hope. Spawn oh, you can spawn near. Head. You can no spawn near your backpack. Oh no, I spawned near the wrong backpack. <laughs> no, no, I uh, I uh, spawned near an old backpack at our old base. Oh, so you're further than me. 
Yes, in fact, I did make a very rookie mistake and I'm now gonna have to run all that way to go get my stuff back and my bicycle. Crazy thing is though, it actually wasn't that far away. 20 meters away from my bag, I realized that there was a danger nearby. Oh, feral bitch. We can cast through and infected. Ugh, lucky dead we managed to get all of our stuff back then went in to go and continue looting i had a big brain moment and figured that if i put down some of these spikes it might help us kill some of these guys i was right because it also slowed down the ferals as well we were a little bit more cautious this time well until we went upstairs oh no another the freaking feral oh my god oh nice save there fang oh shit is that a police officer Sounds like it. Yes, that was in fact a police officer. Police officers typically spit this acid kind of gross stuff at you. And uh, yeah, they're just not good for business. So this was definitely our cue to leave and rode our little push bikes all the way back home. Oh, and uh, I also dug a hole just kind of because I felt like it. 18 days in, and I know it's kind of early, but we kind of feel a little bit progression stuck. But I do know of a place that we could go to that might help us. It's just a little bit of a ride away, and that is it in the distance right there. This right here is the Cracker Book store, which you could pretty much guess holds, well, books. I mean, they're freaking everywhere here. But we're really here to try and get the forged ahead books, which will allow us to be able to craft more crafting benches. Specifically, we want to try and get ourselves the workbench, and then eventually the chemistry bench. But all in all, any book that we get is going to be valuable and it would also be nice to get some better weapons to kill some of these zombies this stone spear is starting to get a little old one annoying feature that i find we have to do every single time we log into the game is that we always have to re-party up every single time anyway i'm done complaining let's kill zombies and collect some books One thing though that I've quickly learned about this game is if you haven't found the really juicy juicy loot in any POI, you haven't completed that POI. So up on the roof, there was a random room that had all the juicy juicy loot. We had finished looting the Cracker Book store completely and there was a few other really interesting buildings around. Oh no wait, I will not go that way. Or skull. We still had a little bit of time till it got really late and dark and dangerous so we figured we'd go and loot them as well. Oh, I just picked up heaps of books already. Heaps of wiring books. Yo, if we get some traps cranking, that'll be freaking sick. I am getting lots of good other loot though. We got a heap of murky water, like more than we probably need. And I am getting good wiring books. Like arguably I'm getting pretty good books. Yeah, probably gonna have to hunker down for the night. All right, we go through the garage here. You go down? Yeah. That's why it's locked. There's a different way in. Oh, this is weird. Cool though, eh? Yes! 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 We've got a forge. What? We've got our forge. What, there was two. Here? There was... The, no, I just learnt it. Oh, what? No way. There was exactly what we needed in there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's fucking heaps out there. Uh... They're about to get fast. Finally, we can make a forge now. Yeah, actual game changer. It's Funny that we didn't find it where yeah, I thought we would have. Oh shit, are you in? Oh shit. I'm inside. Oh shit. This oh shit, we here. gotta be inside. Yeah, but wait, where are you? Uh... Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah. I was in there and I ran out. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> Yeah. Fucking nice. Oh, and with 10 minutes to go. It hit that dangerous 22 o'clock. You think we would have been on our way home by now? But no, we were just getting a little bit greedy. Instead, we just chilled out on top of these shelves for a little bit. Well, actually, we were there for quite a while. We did eventually get a little bit bored and started doing a little bit of exploration in this gas station. And uh, was this a good idea? Well, let's find out. Good one. Yep. Yeah. Here they come. Uh, they're all fast, all a couple pharaohs. Get back up on the shelves. Get back up on the shelves. I just <laughs> run away. Jump up. Wait, did you run away at least? Get up on the shelf, man. Oh. Hey, this is kind of working. This is kind of working. Let's go. 
We then just decided to stay on top of these shelves until it was, well, kind of close to 4 a.m. This gas station still proved to be a little bit troublesome. Which isn't really surprising since it is a four skull difficulty level. But in the end, it was well worth it. The juice was juicy. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Do you hear that? I can hear a dog. There's a feral and a dog. I'm coming. Oh shit, I'm jumping down. He's actually fucking up. Oh, oh my god, god, they jumped down with me. Just as I was reloading. I'm almost dead. Oh, my arm is broken. Tell me you're surviving at least. Yeah, I'm all good up here now. I'm coming down here. Got you back. Oh, oh what the hell? I didn't even know I got down here. Somehow we survived that crazy onslaught and then got to enjoy all the spoils. This hardened chest was locked. I had some lockpicks. I also had some skill points that I can put into my lockpicking skill to help unlock this a little easier. Admittedly, the loot in here was okay nothing special i thought it'd be better considering it was a hardened chest once we completed looting i tried to heal up as best i could then we continued on to the next place i mean we're so far away from base it's kind of worthwhile trying to get everything that we possibly can even with our full inventory it was also nice because i got this new pipe machine gun that i could test out what 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 what, what? where did you get that oh from that crate <laughs> just before Meme. Our inventory was starting to get ridiculously full, so we started reading all the books that we had gathered and started swapping certain items that we could stack upon each other to try and free up some space for each other. Finally made it to the juicy loot, grabbed everything and read every book that we could, and then it was finally time for us to start heading on home. My armor was broken, but my inventory was full, and it was almost time for the horde night, so it was probably a good idea to head on home anyway so we could start preparing for it. And yes, we had finally unlocked the ability to make this forge. This will be a massive game changer moving on forward. Now we're going to have access to be able to craft up a bunch of metal items. I also learned that clay is a massively important ingredient in the forge, and it doesn't hurt to make some trenches around our base anyway, so we went out and started digging some holes. My hope is that we can make enough of this forged iron quickly so that I can start making some really good iron tools. It's now day 20, so we need to start really getting prepared for this next horde night. Our tree farm is fully grown, so we can go and chop down those trees for some extra wood. Whilst trying to keep some of these pesky zombies away, I also crafted up some cobblestone so we could start upgrading some of these blocks from downstairs to try and strengthen some of the defenses down here. I finally had enough resources to be able to make a level five iron fire axe. Thing is, the damn thing takes over three minutes to be able to craft. And if you know this game, time isn't really on our side. We really need to prepare for this horde night or we're going to lose absolutely everything. Oh, will you look at that? Well, the fire axe is now ready. And damn, this is chopping down these trees significantly faster than our stone axe could. Oh, here. While I've got this, you take this. Because I'm a true friend, I gave Fang my little stone axe. Slight advantage of where we're living, we can also go into this burnt forest and chop down these trees, which will also give us some charcoal. Our biggest hope for defense in this early game, I think, is going to be these spikes. We've chopped down enough trees and gathered enough wood that hopefully we can make a bunch of these and place them down everywhere. Tons and tons of wood spikes down. It was almost time. I just placed down basically whatever I could, wherever I could. I also remembered to take this out because last time they jumped over it on into our base. Nice. Yeah, just for tonight. Eh? Then that ominous sound rang over our game and it is now time. Oh, that came real quick. Oh, Jesus Christ. That scared the shit out of me. You can, they can jump. That'll be the... Nah. Keep an eye out for any even spits. Oh, they're trying. <laughs> I don't even reckon they can jump that high anyways, right? Uh, no, but that one Whoa. can. The spider monkey can. The one to the left, get rid of the spider monkey. Oh, I oh. fell through. What, what did I fall through from? Glitch. Oh. Do you have any blocks on you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I only got two. Yeah, I'll kite these guys around because they'll follow me and then maybe you can build up. Oh, I'm fully kiting in the direction you are. That was dumb. You're good. I Minecraft this shit over to you. Yeah, you can. Well, what did I? Th that tripped me out. I don't know what I fell through. There must be a glitch. For a little bit of extra security, I wanted to break these stairs out to make sure that the zombies had no way to be able to get us from coming through our base. Sweet. They can't get through the back now. Oh, there's a spitting one. Coming. Got ammo. Oof. 
One that I can't see because I just got green on the wall. There's some decent loot downstairs though, bro. Bruce, did they break out the our thingy? Yeah, yeah, bro. They were just going at it. Assholes. Zombie dogs too. Oh, there's a spit up. Yo, fucking pig dog. <laughs> I can't even see him from this angle. Oh, they're trying to come through the back. You just like stack on top of each other on the mountain. This is fun. This is fun. Ooh, it looked like they were climbing up for a second. This is so much better than the last time. <gasps> yeah. Oh, oh, you're getting. Oh, bird. I got it. Oh, spitter. Oh, spear, spear. Oh, that's what takes down stuff. Got him. God, the whole back traps are gone now. Are they? I don't think yeah, they're the going to. They're getting in on this corner. Yeah, it's where we stand. They remember, they come to us. They don't worry about the base. So if we're at the back, they'll come to the back. So come to the front. Another fucking popo. Nice. Oh, we're gonna go back to normal soon. Yep. Oh yes, he dropped loot too. Let's go. Another one on the left of me. Need to kite them back. into things. Oh, it's almost time. Oh, the, watch out, there's some ferals down there though. Oh, yeah. And just like that, we had survived this horde night. So I jumped down because all the zombies are now slow and took them out one by one. And of course, picked up this juicy, juicy loot that they all left behind. That's it for episode two, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can see when the next episode goes live. Till next time, peace.